Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Now all this week on the broadcast, we've been doing a series entitled, God is My Source. And what that means, friend, is that our provision, food, clothes, shelter, money to pay our bills, all of those things come from God. He is the one who is our source and He provides those things for us. Now, I want to start today's broadcast by reading a scripture in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 25. It says this, He that puts his trust in the Lord shall be made fat. Now, that word fat is talking about being satisfied or prosperous, or you could say having the provision that you need. And so from that verse, we find out that the person who trusts in the Lord, that person will be prosperous, that person will be successful, that person will have the provision that they need. And so we can see that the reality is this, in God being our source, faith matters. What you believe matters. Why does it matter? Because it's the person who trusts in the Lord that's going to have their needs met. It's the person who trusts in the Lord that's going to prosper. Friend, this verse didn't say that God was going to provide for everybody. It didn't say that every person was going to be made fat. It didn't say every Christian was going to be made fat and prosper. It said the person who trusts in the Lord is going to prosper, is going to have the provision that they need. And so, friend, if you don't trust in the Lord, if you don't get in faith, then it will compromise the provision that you need in your life. It'll compromise your ability to receive that provision from the Lord. If you worry and yield to fear, you're not going to have what you need. Why? Because the verse said this, He whoso that puts his trust in the Lord will be made fat or will be made prosperous. You know, Psalm 37, 3 says this, Trust in the Lord and do good, so shall you dwell in the land, and verily you will be fed. You will be fed if you trust. You will be provided for if you trust. And so faith becomes integral in God being our source. Faith becomes integral in seeing God supply for us the provision that we need. You know, faith hooks us to our source. Faith is the channel. It's the thing that connects us to God. You know, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 11, it says this, that through faith, Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered a child when she was past age. Now, Sarah had a barren womb even when she was young. Well, now she's up into her 70s, 80s, and 90s, and God has promised that she was going to have a child. Well, she never had the ability to have a baby. Well, God does have the ability that she could have a baby. He has that ability. She does not have that ability. And so if she's going to have a baby, then God's going to have to get that ability to her. He is going to have to be the source of that ability for her. And the scripture says that through faith, she received the ability to conceive seed when she was past age. And so you can see then that faith was the thing that connected her to God. Faith was the channel. And so through her faith, God supplied her with the ability that she needed to have that child. Come on, friend, can you see it? Faith is the channel. Faith hooks you to God. And we've seen this in our lives. You know, before we were saved, we had no salvation. And we couldn't save ourselves. But the scripture in Ephesians 2.8 said that by grace, you are saved through faith. And so here you are on this end with no salvation Here God is on this end with the salvation that you need. Well, how is God going to supply it for you and to you? He's going to do it through your faith. And so when you and I trusted, when we believed, then the salvation that God had traveled through our faith 
and, and we received that salvation, our need was met. You can see it there again. Faith was the channel. Faith was the thing that connected you to God so that God could supply for you what you needed. If there is no faith, there is no channel. There is no connection. And so you, have, you would have God on this end with the supply, with the provision, and then you have you on this end unable to receive it because there is no channel. And so if you and I want to receive provision for our lives, food, clothes, shelter, money to pay our bills, we have to understand that faith is the hook, faith is the connector, faith is the channel that God can flow through and meet our material needs, can supply us with the provision that we need in this life. So you and I need to begin to cultivate faith for provision. We're not talking about just generic faith, our general faith that God exists, our general faith in the reality of God. We're talking about specific faith that God is my source. He will supply for me whatever it is I need, no matter what's going on around me. We're talking about specific faith for provision, faith that I'm going to eat, faith that I'm going to have money to pay my bills, that we're going to have food on the table. Whatever it is we need, we're going to have it. Come on, friend, can you see this? We're talking about specific faith that we're going to have all the provision that we need because God's going to supply it for us because He is our source. And faith specific for provision will hook you to your source. Now, what is faith? Well, Hebrews 11.1 1 said that faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. If you look up all those words, you come to this reality that faith is confidence, faith is expectation, and faith is being convinced. In fact, in Proverbs chapter 28, 25, when it said the man who trusts in the Lord will become prosperous, the word trust there means to be sure. It means to be confident. It means to have firm belief. It means to have assurance or to be bold. And so you can see that faith is sure. Faith is confident. Faith is firm belief. Faith is being assured. And when you and I get in faith where provision is concerned, we become bold about the fact that we're going to eat. We're going to have money to pay our bills. We're going to have more than enough. No matter what goes on in the economy, no matter what goes on in the world, we're going to have more than enough food to eat, more than enough money to pay our bills, and to still be a greater blessing to other people. And you can see faith whenever you see confidence, whenever you see boldness, whenever you see assurance, that is faith. So come on, friends, say it with me. I'm going to eat. I'm going to have more than enough. I'm going to have all the money I need to pay my bills to fulfill all my financial obligations and still be a great blessing to other people. Come on, friend, keep that on your heart. Keep it coming out your mouth and get to the place where you're bold about it. Get to the place where you're confident about God meeting your needs, about God being your source. And this is real faith. Faith is confidence. Faith is expectation. Faith is conviction. Faith is being sure. Faith is being bold. And real faith will hook you to your source who is God Almighty. And here's the good news, friend. Being hooked to Him by faith, you and I can flourish in any environment. Come on, if you can get hooked to God then it doesn't matter what's going on in the economy. <laughs> Come on, if you can get hooked to God, it doesn't matter if you get laid off. If you get hooked to God, it doesn't matter what's going on in the stock market and in the world around you. If you're hooked to God Almighty, who is your source, then you can have whatever you need, no matter what's going on around you. And friend, this is why you need to get serious about getting in faith for provision. You need to get confident, you need to get sure, and you need to get bold. That no matter what goes on out there in the world, and no matter what goes on out there in the economy, I'm going to eat. I'm going to have more than enough money to pay all my bills, to fulfill all my financial obligations. And I'm going to be blessed, 
and I'm going to flourish in this time of famine because God is my source. This is good news, isn't it, friend? Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, in God being our source, faith matters and what we believe matters. Number two, faith hooks us to our source. Faith is the channel. Faith is the connector. Faith is the thing that God flows through and supplies for us the provision that we need. And number three, faith specific for provision will hook us to our source and give us the ability to flourish in any environment. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we make a decision today to get in faith where our provision is concerned. And we declare in faith together as we're closing out today's broadcast that you are our source. And because you are, we're going to have more than enough no matter what's going on around us. And we make a decision, Lord, to get in faith, to stay in faith. We know that our faith will hook us to you. And being hooked to you, Father, we thank you that we're going to see great miracles, great manifestations of your goodness in our lives where provision is concerned, abundance and more than enough to do everything we need to do, we'll have it. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Hey, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Thursday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're going to continue this series entitled, God is My Source. We'll see you then. Hey, everybody. Matthew Larry here. Hey, I just want to take a second to let you know that these broadcasts are made possible by the partners of Matthew Larry Ministries and North Smoke Church. Now, if these broadcasts have been a blessing to you and you'd like to help others receive the Word of God through these broadcasts, you can sow a financial seed into Matthew Larry Ministries by going to mam.tv and clicking on the Give button in the top right corner of the screen. And we are believing with you that whatever you give, will be given back to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over in the name of Jesus.